In this clip, Kent Beck talks about a question every developer runs into before making a change. Do you study the code before or after? Yeah, I guess I backed that up. Um, so the question is, uh, the question that comes up 20 times a day for everybody who's touching code is, this code's messy. Changing it is gonna be harder than it needs to be. Should I tidy first? That's the basic question. Comes up over and over and over again. You're gonna get some dogmatic answers. Oh, you always, of course you always tidy first. Because, because. <laughs> because that's a simple answer I don't have to think about anymore. I think they've really probably that's the uh, the explanation of it. Or you also get the should I tidy first? Well, absolutely not. Tidying's waste of time. Why would you do that? We we have people, we have waiters screaming for the next feature, get it done as quickly as possible. Don't bother wiping the knife between cutting meat cuz salmonella happens outside of the restaurant. Then we it's kind of like that, but that's that dogmatic answer. What I discovered when I looked at this tiny little grain of sand question, should I tidy first, is, and the answer of course is it depends, but what it depends on is more or less all of software design. All of the factors that play into software design at the largest scale also play into this question of, I got this code, it's a little bit messy. I have to change it, should I tidy first? If the purpose of tidying is to improve the long-term structure and health of the code base, then your bias should lean towards the long-term. Of course, that's not always practical. Business demands often push for speed over cleanliness. But here's the good news. This isn't an all-or-nothing decision. Refactoring doesn't have to mean sweeping architecture overhauls. In many cases, the improvements are surprisingly small and low cost, and yet they deliver outsized benefits. Renaming a variable or a function can dramatically improve clarity. Extracting an asset block or removing duplication often takes only a few minutes, if not seconds. And yet the gains in maintainability can be immediate and significant. In investing, this is known as an asymmetric reward, where small, low-risk and well-calculated actions lead to outsized returns. Refactoring can work the same way. Minor cleanups done consistently can yield major long-term benefits for the codebase. These small, opportunistic improvements compound over time. The more you take these micro moments to tidy, the more the code base trends in a healthier direction. So maybe the better question isn't, should I clean up before making a change? But instead, how much tidying can I reasonably do right now given my constraints? And chances are that there is something you can do no matter how small. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.